orofacial pain so how do we diagnose it so the diagnosis falls into two categories one is axis 1 another one is axis 2 so the axis 1 diagnosis starts with clinical examination and then taking a thorough history and completely analyzing the structures around the face that is the muscles and the joints axis 2 is knowing your psychosocial history now why is psychosocial history so important because it directly has a correlation to pain for example so if you've been having a stressful situation at home or work this might directly affect the way you perceive pain so psychosocial history plays a very important role in diagnosing and treating pains the next is complete blood workup so why do we take a complete blood workup is for example if you've been having a deficiencies like ferritin or iron deficiency you might feel burning sensation in your mouth or if you've been having hypothyroidism then this might again aggravate your pains so again we do this blood workup so that we find out what deficiencies you've been having how is your other systemic factors and hormonal issues and then correcting it so this diagnosis is in accordance to dctmd that is a diagnostic criteria for temporomandibular joint disorders and this is what we follow to diagnose and then treat our temporomandibular joint disorder cases